Hello everyone, I'm just jamming to the music. Hi. Hello. Yeah, I'm gonna reset my, uh... My face. Boop. There we go. Maybe a little more. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's normal me. Uh, we're, we escaped the CGA. We are now in, uh, SVGA. <laughs> We're real, real 32-bit color. Welcome aboard. The Welcome aboard. The Dream Harrier, the ship that flies your gaming space. I know it's been a long time since I've said that. I've been on a little bit of a stream break since December and uh, had a recent trip to uh, Disney World. And as what I usually do before I go to Disney is I usually stream a Disney game. I have not been able to. So I'm doing it after the fact. Today's Disney game is the 2013 remake of Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. You might remember we played this. This might have been the first uh, Disney game on the channel. And it's uh, one of my favorites. Castle of Illusion, uh, it's a pretty good pl platformer, a little short, but you know, it's, it's for the kids. It was made by Sega in-house. This is handled by Sega's Australian studio, which I think they still exist, but I think they just do mobile games. However, they did get the original uh, composer to come back and do some stuff. And then uh, Grant Kirkhope is also on composing duty. And I, I think the director, um, I think it's the same director as the original game as well. I could be wrong. It's been a long time since I thought about this remake. However, we got through the entirety of the Illusion series, at least the Sega made ones, so this seems like the fitting end to that. At some point, I need to pick up the Capcom Magical Quest series and um, I guess Mickey Mania, I guess. I don't I don't have fond memories of Mickey Mania, but I, I you know, it could surprise me. You've played this one, Muir? All right. Yeah, how's everyone? How was everyone's January since I've been kind of missing in action? Yeah, there's a PlayStation release by uh, Psygnosis, I think, for... Uh, but just for PAL regions for Mickey Mania. I think it's called something else. Mickey's Mad... Mickey's Adventures or something like that. Um, I'm not going to play that version if I do Mickey Mania. I think I'm going to play the Sega CD version because... I feel like that's like the truest to it while still having the extra content. Um, I know, I think the PS1 version has extra stages, but uh, the original game was made by Traveler's Tales and I think the Sega CD version is still Traveler's Tales. So I want to want to stick with kind of the OG for that. Anyway, I guess we should get our Mickey Mouse started, huh? Urban Assault. I actually just got a... I just got in the mail today a Microsoft... I forget which one that is. It's one of the Sidewinders. One of the early ones. Like, it has the switch in the bottom of it to be like, I'm a... I'm a Thrustmaster. You can trust me. Uh, and then I also have a Force Feedback Sidewinder but I don't have the power cable, so I gotta source that somewhere. But yeah, that's what's, that's what's going on in the PC land. Let us... Actually, I wanna look at something really quickly. Okay, this Firefox. Firefox, why are you taking... Why is your CPU usage up to the 20s? You're not doing anything, Firefox. Firefox, go home. Firefox, you're drunk. <laughs> Hello, Juan. Morty's Mouse of Illusion. Yep. Ah, the Force Feedback one had Urban Assault as an OEM. Yeah, the Gaming Zone. I think at some point it was the Hot Zone.
Okay, I'm gonna close Firefox because I don't know what the hell Firefox is doing today, but it's like It was like what if your CPU usage was like intense and it was like why? What are you doing? <laughs> I gotta look into that All right enough fooling around let's get the BGM model here Let's get the cover this game uses an auto save feature I had a little bit of trouble getting this uh, to play nice with OBS. Yeah, don't unplug your hard drive or turn off uh, turn off your computer while playing. By the way, if you remember that we mentioned Grant Kirkhope, just you know, keep that in mind. Hi, Worlds of Rogue. I'm back. I've been out for this month. I just realized this game is really quiet, but I can't Once help it. Time, two devoted sweethearts set out on a summer afternoon to enjoy the sunshine, the warm breeze, and the pleasure of each other's company. Mickey and Minnie were so happy that they were certain everyone must feel the same. <laughs> But alas, joy is not found in all hearts. Where there should be love and kindness, there is jealousy and anger. The witch, Miserable, had such a heart. One filled with darkness and envy. Oh dear! Aw, it's okay, Minnie. I bet the sun will be back in a jiffy. Mickey's wish was oh. not to be. The day turned to night. And the skies thunder with ill will and fury. Yikes! In the brief moment that Mickey closed his eyes against the bright flash of lightning, his happiness was shattered. Oh, Minnie! The evil witch <laughs> Sorry. kidnapped Minnie. That witch picture is really funny. Stone had always been jealous of the mouse's beauty. Now she would rob her of it. <laughs> As Miserable took to the skies with his beloved Minnie, Mickey knew he had to act fast. Oh, Mickey, save me! Running with all his might, he chased the witch through the forest. <laughs> Mickey scampered and scurried all the way to... The Castle of Illusion. Title drop. Title drop. Yeah, so I played the original as a kid and I played it on the stream during one of my Disney. Oh, is the chat not above me? Why is that happening? Hold on. Also, anytime I click outside. No, that doesn't work. Oh, yeah, it's this overlay doesn't. Here, there we go. I never use the widescreen overlay. Yeah, anytime I click outside, the game is going to mute itself. Once upon a time, two. No, we already saw that. <laughs> so yeah, I uh, I'm a big fan of the original Illusion game, and I recently played the World, uh, yeah, World of Illusion, with uh, Pete on the Extra Life stream, for charity. And we did a co-op run of that. I've played all the the Master System and eight in the Game Gear versions of the Illusion games. So this is the last one. Now you, someone could say. There's a epic Mickey game on 3DS that has the word illusion. <laughs> we love Mickey Mouse. Yeah, the Japanese title for Castle of Illusion is We Love Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse no Daiboken. Uh <laughs> No, that's the that's the Donald game, I think. Is no Daiboken. <laughs> uh yeah, I guess we should get into it. There's not a whole lot of options. I turned subtitles on, but for audio, there's no sliders, so I can't make the music louder. Without making the the voice acting like just overpower me, <laughs> we both love Donald Duck. We have a love affair. And terrifying, the castle stood out against the skyline like a shadow from a horrible nightmare. 
Lost and alone, what was Mickey to do? Luckily, fate intervened in the guise of a mysterious old mouse. That guy's a mouse? Caution, lad. For Miserable's plans are truly wicked. Using a magic spell, she intends to steal Minnie's youth and beauty. Your sweetheart will be left as hideous as the witch is now. And her heart will contain only hatred and anger. Oh no! Uh, how can I save her? What do I do? You must find the seven rainbow gems that will create the fabled Rainbow Bridge. It will take you to where Minnie is being held. But beware the gem keepers. They are Miserable's prime ministers of misery and won't give up their treasures easily. Prime ministers of misery. Gem keepers. Got it. Wait, where do I find them? Within Miserable's castle of illusion. But beware, young mouse. The witch has created strange worlds and bizarre creatures to prevent you from reaching her. Each gem is guarded by one of Miserable's masters of illusion. Defeat them to claim your prize. And remember, use great caution. Mickey did not take the old mouse's words lightly. He thanked him and rushed to the castle gates. Remember how the intro of the original game is just Mickey sees some toy soldiers and the butt bounces on them? Castle of Illusion Look up. Was Miserable's twisted playground of trickery. A prologue level. Nothing there was as it seemed. Uh, so Mickey Mouse, uh, well, Mickey Mouse predates Sonic. Uh, but this game, Castle of Illusion, the original one, does predate Sonic the Hedgehog and his Chaos Emeralds. Boing. So yeah, they added a little prologue, I guess. Wow, you bounce really high in this version. So yeah, this game is 2D, but also 3D. Game is all the Ds. Into the castle entryway strode the mouse with the heart of a great lion. Though his knees felt more like those of a frightened kitten. So these are new collectibles, right? Bottom floor room unlocked. Oh, the collectibles are tied to the doors. That's interesting. So yeah, the original game didn't have a hub world, you just... I like the sparkles. Uh, you just kind of went from level to level. Okay, I thought this was like, I don't know, a level warp, but maybe you find like treasures and put them on the pedestals. Yeah, this is Grant Kirkhope being the most Grant Kirkhope. Mickey crossed the threshold and emerged once again into the forest. Oh, look at these guys. But it was changed somehow. This wasn't the pastoral wood he remembered. Bunk. Now this is the jam I remember. Oops, I wasn't paying attention. You come back? <laughs> Oh, Mickey head. Okay, so there's like a new collectible that's kind of incentive to grab. It's down here. I love failure rewards. Mayonnaise and 60, uh, mayonnaise 64. Okay. Okay, you still get tossable items. How am I gonna get up there? So far, this uh, layout is very different. 
So yeah, this is originally, this came out in 2013, so Xbox 360 and PS3, and then they got delisted. Knowing he would need a way to defend himself, Mickey remembered how accurate he always was in the annual apple throwing contest back home. I like this extra lore. <laughs> There we go. Oh, ah, that's just health. Looks like you got a little bit of Klonoa in here too. Making use of their 2.5D. Signpost was created by Miserable, so of course it had a mischievous streak. Hmm. Sure wish that signpost would make up its mind. <laughs> I want to go this way. Gosh, which way should I go? No, Mickey, I want to go that way. <laughs> Surely they can't all be the wrong path. Suddenly, Mickey was in another part of the wood. Were these gigantic trees, or had Mickey been shrunk? Oh. Okay, those are... They're like strider ledges. They just like roll you down. I mean, all the elements are here from the original game. That's a good spider. Apples. I gotta get the gem rolls. So I think originally this game didn't have D-pad support, but it does right now, so. Uh, I can't get this, okay. <laughs> so I guess they patched it in at some point, which is good. Okay, Chivo. I like that there's a big giant score counter. It's very video game. Also, I'm surprised this game still has lives. I wasn't sure the screen was, uh, the camera was going that way. Magic playing card. With a whirl and a flash, Mickey reappeared in the clearing with the playing card. Oh, and I'm here. to his relief, he was back to his own size, too. <laughs> they deflate. <laughs> it's so weird. It's kind of a shame he doesn't really butt bounce on anything. He just kind of stomp. Oh no, Crash Bandicoot. Oh no, collectibles in a force scrolling against the camera scene. Nope. 
<laughs> that one's gone forever. They don't let you walk backwards. Missed a gem. That was close. Also, I realized that game got really loud during that segment. But normally it's pretty quiet. Mickey knew he was closer to Miserable now. The very air around him tingled with mischief. Danger. Whoa. Oh, that ghost is so fat. Okay. What's up here? Kirko, can you give us a spooky mansion? Jesus Christ, that was loud. It's weird, the level designs are very, like, we hit a bunch of shit versus the straightforward original. What a jerk. What do you do? Also, hey, Piff. Let me see if there's something over here besides the star. Nope. I done backtrack for no reason. There's a problem with level design like this is you're going to want to backtrack through all the little nooks and crannies. Okay, you can't trick him. <laughs> Why is that so big? So loud. I don't trust red ghosts. They're jerks. Do you have a gem? No. Oh. I almost got defeated by the camera. So how's everyone doing? Is the audio okay? This game doesn't have audio sliders. I guess I could lower it a bit. Okay, every time I lower or do that, it's going to pause the game. What was I doing? Uh, I've played the NES DuckTales and I've played the DOS DuckTales game. Suddenly Mickey found himself catapulted into the clouds. I'm also a big fan of Quackshot. Hello, Apollo, by the way. Treasure. You can't butt bounce on treasure chests in this version. It's not as satisfying. 
Also, for some reason, they kept using cake as a healing item for Mickey, and they got rid of the cake. Now it's just like a star. Bring back the cake. Mickey demands it. They are very floofy. I'm reminded, is there like a... Hmm, there's leaderboards. Is there like a total to tell me how many gems are in the stage? Oh. After a short flight, Mickey was back in the haunted forest, no worse for wear. I guess that was the edge. <laughs> I walked right off of it. <laughs> The new streaming sensation, getting over it with Mickey Mouse. I feel like Donald would probably be a better candidate because Donald would get angry. Like what if you had the, the original narration and then Donald just be getting angry about the narration? After a short flight, Mickey was back in the haunted forest, but this time with a playing card. I still got things to get. I didn't get everything. Yeah, weird level design for what was originally very straightforward levels. I missed one gem. <laughs> I guess I got the playing card again. Oh, look at them strut. She is. Miserable taunted Mickey with her cruel laugh, but perhaps she was secretly worried about how close he was getting. I don't remember if the ghost stuff was introduced this quickly. Also, it's really weird when the game turns 3D. It's very seamless, but also, like, I'm using the D-pad, and then all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, I can use the analog stick. <laughs> Look at the block! So one interesting thing about Mickey's design in video games is that it was mandated by Disney that you have to be able to always see both of Mickey's ears. Now, if you... In 3D, it's way more obvious how weird that has to be because of how his ears shift around. <laughs> and the audio balance in this game is wild. No, I want those gems. Why is this so Grant Kirkhope? I understand he's on the soundtrack, but... Did he have to go this hard? I do like this little stage clear jingle. I didn't get a chance to read that. <laughs> the of the forest behind him, 
Mickey faced the next part of his quest with renewed courage. Oh no, I realized I can do the analog walk in 2D. Like all of Ms. Rappel's illusions, he was no friend to Mickey. It's the log guy. Boink. Okay, hold on. That that loud that was louder than I thought it'd be. <laughs> Let's try this. All right. Oh, I have to click. Boink. Maybe more, maybe a couple more decibels. This has become a hard game to audio balance. I like the bonk sound effect. Oh, shit, they gave him a psycho crusher. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I want to lower it just a little bit. Oh, I, I ruined the voice acting. Exploring the castle halls, Mickey now had one of the rainbow gems that would help him save Minnie. But he knew there were more to find, and the Masters of Illusion would not give them up without a fight. All right, so let me know how this sounds. Because the music does get loud randomly, but normally it's really quiet. So I got like a piece of the castle and I got a couple playing cards. I don't know what they do. Okay, so these are acts one, two, and three. So I could replay act one if I wanted to, to get that missing gem. And it's so weird to have a, a hub world. What's going on over here? Oh, I can view the paintings. Okay, maybe that's what it was when I get a piece of the castle. I get paintings. New concept art unlocked. So that needs 160. Oh, I wonder if these are going to give me platforms eventually. Okay. What do you do since you're not a level? The rainbow bridge to Mini would only appear when all seven rainbow gems were collected. There was still work to be done. I see. So this is where the end of the game is. Oh, and the orange gem. Now you're putting more prerequisites on me. You can't sequence break. Not allowed. Toy soldiers, the next floor. All right, let's see what Toy World is like. Toyland. Mickey emerged into a toy box of peril, another of the witch's illusions. Okay, so far this is more like accurate. Not that I need the remake to be accurate. I was just kind of surprised how Inter how, how different it is? Ah. It's 
Sonic Spring. No. I do like that they added Mickey talking. I think he, that's a good touch for him. So yeah, so there is that Switch game. Was it Illusion Island? Do we count that as an official Illusion game? And if we count that, do we count, um... Mickey had to move quickly and carefully, for the cards weren't playing fairly. The epic Mickey game that's on the handhelds? The 3D parts of this game kind of feel a little floaty in a weird way. Oh, I didn't. I didn't go the right way for that. to be a rabbit in a magic act. The narrator is interesting. Oh, yeah, he gets marbles in this stage. Oh my god, they made this guy huge! Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay, you came back. <laughs> I do like that they, they made this more of a, like a kid's room. I was wondering what I was collecting. I guess it was marbles. Wait, the one's over here. Okay. Neat little use of the gimmick, the scale gimmick. Here are my boys. I wonder if I got Crash Bandicooted again. Whoa. Magic playing card. So the playing cards were a thing in the world of illusion. They're your health, and then the World of Illusion had a whole magician theme to it. idea why I went that other direction. I feel like this captures a lot of childlike wonder. We did it. And that was very much indicative of the original level. With the fast slides down. Why? Well, hey. <laughs> Mickey 
moved onward into the land of toys. But these playthings were somewhat less than playful. I don't know what you guys think. I, I mean, I still prefer the Genesis game, but... It's gonna be very hard to get me to to dislike the to like this more than the Genesis game. Ow! I was talking to my audience. You can't just. You can't just drop a toy soldier on me. It's weird because I kind of want to play this game with the D-pad, but then it switches to 3D sometimes. And it makes me want to play with the analog stick. But I mean, with the analog stick, I get this, this lovely strut. I gotta, gotta wait a bit. There we go. Oh, is this the uh, reverse gravity segment? Our hero wasn't sure if he was upside down, downside up, or a bit of both. I think I like the narrator. He sounds familiar. Does anyone know who this is? You gotta check the beginning of the stage. So yeah, like I said, this was made in-house by Sega of Australia. Get dunked. Who I think is just there. They just make the mobile Sonic games now. succeeded but in a topsy-turvy world there was always room for one more turn huh I think I found a bonus Seeger so what do I want to do Did these fall Oh, shit. So many gems are in here. So, I'm trying to think of what Disney games I need to do. Oof, <laughs> I didn't even see him. Since we already did Disneyland uh, Japan, Tokyo Disney. What the? Stop it. Can I make this? I fucked this up. Never mind. I'm good. Hmm. Uh oh. I didn't want to get rid of that one. Maybe there's a spring? Oh, there was an enemy. Yeah, I really... So that takes you back.
This is the beginning. So if I fall, is that just death or? All right, it takes you back here, but it doesn't doesn't reset the blocks. I haven't played Magical Testers Challenge. I have not. Hello, XC. I, I eat. Should I be doing this or should I be going back to the magic hat? I don't know who Sully is. Oh yeah, silly cartoons sound about right. I'm gonna go do the hat? Hopefully it lets me back in. Yeah, I know about the, it's it's uh, published by Capcom and I think it's developed by Adika. So it's like a Adika developed Tetris game. And then you battle people in it. And it has a little bit of a uh, battle Tetris guide in DNA. How did I miss that box? It was on N64 and I think PlayStation. I know people were like Donald's theme. Like people were like the music from it. Have I played Uncharted? No. Whoops, I did it again. <laughs> Maybe I'll play Uncharted after I get through my Tomb Raider phase. Okay, that time that worked. Oh, but I wasn't supposed to... Can I reset this? What do I want from this? Uh oh. <laughs> that ate my momentum too. I was trying to reset it before getting to the other side. But it looks like when you hit these, they completely kill your momentum. Oh, I did it again. For some reason I think I can walk under it. But no, it's hitbox is too big. It's too big, Mickey. Okay, yeah, you lose control when you touch that. There we go. Just do that. Overthinking it, Mickey. Yay. I still fucked up and can't get these gems. Oh well. But yeah, I do want to play Tomb Raider. It'll probably... Do I want to wait all the way till next December to play the first Tomb Raider? Why am I not bouncing off that guy? Uh, I guess because he's in his... Uh, his hidey hole. Whoa, dude got air. I like the 
bits of Klonoa it's doing here. Okay, the best way to get that would be over here. Love a good mirror gimmick. Bomber 64 is a really funny one where you actually go into the mirror. Yo, 50, hit that big-ass ram. It's really weird to think about, like, major PS3 games as retro. Into a new corner of the Castle of Illusion ran Mickey. But what was that odd green box? It seemed chillingly familiar. <laughs> So I think they made this boss 3D, so we'll see how he goes, because normally this boss was just like, I don't know, you just duck. Oh, it's a nightmare in this one. Okay, he's still duck. Oh, he's a Kuru Kuru Kurin. Get punched in the face, idiot. Uh oh. Oh, I just realized we're in a snare drum. Oh yeah, do you like it? I gotta confess something, I've never played a Shadowrun video game or tabletop. They all look really cool. Like the, the SNES game, the the Genesis one, the Sega CD one looks cool but isn't translated. Um, I'm gonna lower the volume just a tinch more again. I wish this game had uh, sliders. But yeah, I haven't touched any of the newer stuff. I think I own some of it. Oh, shockwaves. I was adjusting my headset. Rude. Can't be a 3D platformer without shockwaves. The orange rainbow gem. Mickey's heart swelled with renewed hope. The they really are chaos emeralds in this. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go super Mickey. The second rainbow gem was safely gathered, but Mickey had no time to congratulate himself. Another five gems and many were yet to be found. So I'm trying to remember, I think one of the gems is like just given to you in the original game. Like they forgot to make a world for it. So what do I do with these? Cause it mentioned the statue. It said Jack in the Box statue was unlocked, and I thought I could place statues on these pedestals. And they'd probably let me get up there. 
Oh, there you are. The Rascal of Toyland. Jack in the Box is an ex-court jester who has, who now spends his days playing with toys and getting up to mischief. Surprising adventurers who enter Toyland. How do I physics on you? <laughs> There we go. Am I supposed to be up here? Okay, this is the one that has like the underwater segments. As Mickey surveyed this new world, he noticed colossal storm clouds gathering in the sky. Hopefully, the rain would hold off long enough for him to make it back to the castle. Okay, I can't go back up. Alright, so it's just the A button is like a boost. And you do have eight ways swimming. Looks like the failure paths this time have gems in them, so... I gotta fail. I just realized... Can I throw in the water? No. I hit every failure path. It's the only way. Feels good to be streaming again. Have you guys missed me? I promise I won't do what I did last this month and disappear for so long. Oh, but there's a thing down there. What? Wait, there's treasure. I gotta have my treasure. So did anyone watch my DOS video? The uh, the DOS Ember recap? What do you guys think? It's been a long time since I've done the scripted video. I know it sounds like it because I sound kind of... I am reading a script. This is scripted and I am reading it. But it's like the first time in a long time. It's something you get better at. They change how this works? Ah. Deep underground, Mickey wondered what sort of subterranean strangeness he was about to encounter. Am I doing a puzzle? So that makes that part of the head. miss the cake. Have I complained enough about the missing cake? Yeah. 
Yeah, I want to do more scripted videos. Obviously, I need to do the Father World video because I think everyone's dying to know my opinions on that game. They're dying for it. Go fast. No. Oh, that killed me. As Mickey swung past the giant carved duck, he remembered Donald's advice on adventures. Never have them. <laughs> that is that's is a good Donald. Like uh <laughs> Just don't have them. Shit's fucked. That's a very Donald. Oh. Some reason I thought I could make that jump. I must come from above. So they made it so that Falling doesn't take a life, but they added more. I'm going to say they added more pits in the stage. More chances of failure. But then they made failure not as uh, consequential, so that's pretty good. Whoop. <laughs> Hitbox in that water, pretty severe. <laughs> Got active frames for days. Mickey wasn't sure just how deep underground he was, but the next rainbow gem had to be there somewhere. All right, so this is the running water area. Oh. It's like took the camera a second to realize. You know, for like a, a budget, like Xbox Live game release, this isn't too bad looking. With a giant splash, Mickey plunged into the underwater depths of a creepy cave system, teeming with hungry skellyfish. Was that a skellyfish? What was that I saw? It was like a swamp monster. This is a skellyfish. I was wondering if I'd get a second chance at that. Ow. The deeper Mickey went into the ruins, the more sure he was that something or someone was watching him. Huh, Jim. No. Good Mickey noise. Oh. Hey.
Remember the Disney trip that I played Fantasia? Donald's Chili Pepper? Donald Duck's Iconic Chili Pepper from Quackshot? Mickey, you gotta go up. There's something weird about the eyes being sunken in as much as they are. It's making me uncomfortable. I'm not really used to 3D CG Mickey, because I, I don't watch the, the hot dog song uh, show. What was that? Mickey's, Mickey's fun house? Mickey's house? I don't remember. House of Mickey. House of M. There's those weird Capcom GameCube ones. Mickey darted hither and yon for safety, but found none. Suddenly, the entire chamber flooded. Had our hero's luck finally run out? You see, this was the lair of the third Master of Illusion. Okay, what is my goal? This is new, right? Th this boss fight? I don't remember. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse? Okay. Oh, he's roly. Ow. Okay, now I remember. You do fight these guys, but they're just kind of like little gremlins. There's no underwater segment in the original. Boing. I just realized the portraits have little reactions. Like I've, I've seen Mickey's, but I didn't realize the bosses have them. They almost look like uh, they're Lego characters too. There were an gang of these green like they're very much like the portraits you'd find in uh, those Lego games, those Lego Star Wars and stuff. Ah. I got a triple fudge pack just now. Oh, Mickey. <laughs> Mickey, calm down. <laughs> Mickey schmoovin'. Oh, they're so depressed. To his sweetheart. Oh my god, Mickey be schmoovin'. I, I don't think I can do it in 3D land. More gems. Skellyfish. A bat. Mickey chanced upon an enchanted mirror. In its reflection, he saw himself, but wearing far more magical clothes. Rescue Minnie to obtain the knight costume. Ah, 
Uh, okay, that's how I was supposed to get the gems. And not the weird thing I did before. <laughs> So there's 800 gems in total, but they don't tell you, like, in stage. Alright, now we're gonna get small again. Mickey found himself in a giant library, but he knew Miserabelle's books and bookworms were penning a not-so-happy ending for him. It's weird you can't stomp on chests. I don't have a throwable island item right now. Hey, 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 hey. Okay. Oh. oh I like that someone sushes you when you make noise. That's a good touch. The library used to be such a bop. I mean, it's still a bop. <laughs> I like the A enemies. I feel like I'm leaving gems on the table though. There's like a split path here that's Oh, I guess that works. How do I get up there? Oh, it's got Walt's, uh, it's got a wax stamp of approval. Oh, the worms are so gross in this one. Oh, you can get up here. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, it's telling the story of the first level right here. Whoa, I got respawned so fast. Ow. On top of me as well. Alone. Whoa, Shadow Mickey. He was in a realm of dangerous delights and scrumptious scares. All around was a sea of ice cold milkshake. Not the sort one wanted to dive into. Macaroons. Hey. Can I have those back? Oh, the gummy. The gummy fish look really good. I guess there are dolphins in this. I wanted to see if that would respawn the platforms. It did not. I guess I gotta act fast. Oh, this took me here. Wait, do I want to be here? Oh, this is why the levels are designed like this. It's like, do I want to do this yet? Is this backtracking? Is this the main path? I guess that was the main path. So green bouncy, red. Oh. <laughs> oh. I 
I guess I gotta get from below. Oh, he's got these gems in weird spots. I kind of make gross noises. to get back down. I like the reflections. Oop. That was a little bit of like, I'm going from 2D to 3D and I don't exactly know where it's going to place me. Just trust in the shadow. The shadow knows. Oh, that put me back in 2D. That ah, damn it. <laughs> Wait, 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 I'm not done with this level. No. No, I don't want to be here. Oh. I don't want to restart the stage. These stages are long, too. Got, got. I feel like I was lied to. The level design lied to me. The only safe way to cross was hopping from cookie to cookie. I gotta get these gems. Fourth rainbow gem was there for the taking. Hey, you! I mean, me! Stop! So, Shadow Mickey is a brand new invention. Shadow Mickey snuck up behind our hero, grabbed the gem, and made a culinary escape. I guess they saw what Shadow Mario was doing. So, I can get a piece of that. For better health, Mickey Mouse milk. Hey, they're still the best enemy. Okay, so they still have the light switch. That's kind of neat. I assume these will murder me instead of putting me on an alternate path. Whoa! Okay, I thought I was above that. Ah. 
That's probably the way forward, but I want to see what's over here. Some treasure. Again, I don't like when people hide collectibles in, like, the, the failure path. Oh. I don't need marbles that badly. I need this. I need more over here. No, nah, I guess that was it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, he's not as precise as I'd want him to be. That's one thing about the Genesis game is that it was pretty tight and uh, pretty precise. Controlled well. Hey, that that's telling you about something we haven't done yet. We haven't fought that dragon yet. Hey, hey, hey. And that's how Mickey drowned to death. Good tea. He might just stick to orange juice from now on. Right, I can. I forget I can swim faster. feeling he was being lured into a trap I like the music shutting off for the lamp that's pretty good hmm whoa <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to duck all right fine I'll do it your way oh get up there there's also a path down there oh. there you are. oh I only ever see gems like when it's too late oh. okay I don't like that the camera locked on shadow Mickey Whoa, that was weird. Oh, checkpoints will save your gems. Interesting. I wonder if I can get this life again. I feel floatier than I expect to be. These cycles are weird. I don't think there's anything up there. Oh, there were.
Oh, the timing's so weird. That killed me? Oh, I have to do the jump again. Oh, that's what they want from me. Oh, but I hit jump and it's like... No coyote time. I feel like this game kind of falls in the same pitfalls of other 2.5D platformer issues. The return of the apple. X marks the spot. Oh, come on, stand still, why don't you? I can't believe a shadow Mickey the whole time. Blocked. I need Donald's iconic chili pepper. <laughs> uh, I like Quack Shot. I encourage everyone to play Quack Shot. Take that, Shadow Mickey. Mickey endured a lot of taunting from his pesky shadow, so he couldn't resist doing a little taunting of his own. And back in the milk dimension. He himself for the next sugar-coated shock from this confectionery world. So I think he's a 3D boss now too. Long to wait, a gigantic red licorice dragon emerged from the melted ice cream. This was the fourth master of illusion. Oh. Hey. Okay, maybe he's not 3D yet. I remember watching a video of this game a long time ago. Okay. Now he's 3D. Now he's 2D. Ah, damn it. You kind of have to react to those pretty fast. Boink. Oh, there's a death jingle, but like barely has a chance to play. For the next sugar coated shock from this confectionery world. He didn't have long to wait. A gigantic red licorice dragon emerged from the melted ice cream. He looks less like a Pete dragon. Master of Illusion. Bonk. That's such a good bonk noise. It's perfect for uh, a cartoon video game. So I sort of center first on. Um... 
and then just the last time he threw left first. Just to mess with me. Oh no, what is he gonna do now? Dummy. With the blue rainbow gem in hand, there were only two more to find. And then Mickey could search for the most precious jewel of all, his sweetheart, Minnie. Aw. They really play up the whole Minnie and Mickey in this. It's cute. Time attack mode. Mickey had managed to secure both the fourth and fifth rainbow gems. But was he running out of time? Could he still get to Minnie before it was too late? Oh, hold on, the sugar cube guy is here. <laughs> I gotta find all the concept art. Mischievous Shadow lost his gem in Cake Land after being chased by its guardian. Too cowardly to return. Maybe someone else can find it for him. Lost his gem in Cake Land after being chased by its guardian. Too cowardly to return. Maybe someone else can find it for him? Collect five playing cards to unlock the Magician. Rescue Minnie. And then one was uh, an Explorer outfit. Yeah. The quack shot outfit. Interesting. Two gem rolls left. I think one of them isn't real, right? His heart pounding, Mickey raced into the castle hall, only to be met by another of Miserable's illusions. Enchanted suits of armor. Are you gonna hit me? Oh no. Nope. Not as much. These suits are very suitable. Wait, what's going on back there? It's like a duck on a swing being pushed by another duck. There's like a freaked out Lord Goofy. Ow. I'm busy looking at the paintings. Hey. Oh, how did I do that? Whoa, that hit me some so that hit me so high up. His heart pounding, Mickey raced into the castle. That's okay. I missed stuff. By another of Miserable's illusions, enchanted suits of armor. Is that the giant from Mickey and the giant beanstalk back there? It's hard for me to tell. Oh, I can bounce on that. Hey, no. Oh my god, I got caught on the thingy. I just want to bounce on it. Donald Chili Pepper. I like that Mickey just throws flaming candles. Mickey traveled deeper oh. into the castle dungeons. He knew he had to get those last two gems as quickly as he could. Oh, oh boy. It's a gloopy ball. Oh. 
I have to put my faith in the platforms. Wait, there's stuff up there. I see you. Another statue. Oh boy! Hey Blob. I've explained that every time I go to Disney, I usually play a Disney game. And since I've finished all the illusion games on Sega Genesis and Sega Game Gear and Sega Master System, that only leaves this for the illusion series. I mean, I even beat Fantasia. I went the extra mile. <laughs> I don't know if I do Epic Mickey. There is a handheld Epic Mickey that has the word illusion in it. Oh, I got like stuck in the air. Oh no, I need my buddy. I think it's like 3DS Epic Mickey 2. Is he not respawning? Do you like the one time enemy refuses to respawn? Yeah, I kind of like don't like all the gem rolls I gotta get in this game. They made this into a collectathon in a way. Ow. Power of Illusion. Yeah, okay, that's the one. It has good sprite work. I don't know who made it. It might be the Harry Henry Hatsworth people. Oh no, it's not them. It's the monster. They made a monster game, the people that made that game. I think um, Variable Goo was telling me about it because he was playing that monster game. Mm. <laughs> okay, that's not what you do for that. We we'll probably come back and get them. Oh, I need to show Blob the strut. The enemy spawned, but I don't know where. Oh, and so you can have another chance to get that. Okay. Do 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 do. God, look at this strut. Isn't that such a good strut? Oh, these are duck soldiers. I guess this is a duck castle. The treasure room were marvelous to behold, but none more so than the indigo gem. I'll take your cursed gem. With the sixth gem found, Mickey began to feel that maybe it was Miserable's time that was running out. Yo, Mickey's confident. Mickey's spitting. Yeah, this game kind of switches between 2D and 3D platforming, and it has like analog control for both. I mean, you can play with the D-pad. I don't think you could when the game launched. But if you play with the analog stick, you get the strut. Huh, secret Mickey, secret Mickey. <laughs> More swimming. I guess that's true for the original game. They were swimming in this level. 
I really like the, the Master System version of this level, if I remember right. It was very different. What the f <laughs> I don't know what hit me. I guess I got hit by that skeleton fish, but... Okay, the skeleton fish hitbox is very large. That's okay, I wanted to see if I... This place just never stops, does it? Aha! Now reward me. Fine. <laughs> Alright, must keep in mind that the skeletonfish... Or not to be. Oh, Mickey, you got stuck. Mickey, it was your time. Oh, he made the good noise again. <laughs> All Jesus, you can't even like. Oh, gem. Oh, I missed that one. Ah! Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? By any rules now, thought Mickey, as he tumbled into a pitch black castle corridor. Okay, this is neat. It's cute. Not again. Oh, we crashed Bandicoot again. Miserable Did I die? By any rules now, thought Mickey. As he tumbled into a pitch black castle corridor. Hey, I, I wasn't aware the game gave control to me because I was holding the analog stick and it didn't it didn't move. Out of this world as dev. Oh, I got. I thought it was 3D. I had to hit left. <laughs> or, I had to hit right. <laughs> the first time I did the Crash Bandicoot segment, it was like hit down. So I was holding down. It's a. Uh, oh, what's the thing that erases characters in Roger Rabbit? The dip, yeah. <laughs> Mickey's getting chased by the dip. Only it's purple, not green, but still. It's dip! From the dungeon, Look, it's a Mickey. The clock tower. Who's that back there? Great recovery. I appreciate all this extra Mickey lore. Apparently he was a clock cleaner? When Was that a cartoon? Oh, did the walrus not go off? Is the walrus broken? Hold on. Hold on, I got you. If it went off and I didn't hear him, then I'm sorry. Oh, it played? Okay. Oh, everything must be really quiet for me. That's what happens when I lower my headset. Thank you for the redeem. For the hydrate and the, the walrus. Mm. That's some good water. Yeah, it's like Mickey can throw apples because he is good at the apple throwing competition. Mickey was a clock maker or clock. What they say he was? <laughs> I already forgot. Oh, gone. 
Okay, I have bats. Let's watch Ma uh, Mickey Castle Cagliostro himself. I guess uh, the bad guy Castle Cagliostro didn't get crushed by gears. He got crushed by uh, the hands of the clock. Still a good death. Oh, I better not Castle Cagliostro myself. Remember when we owned the Studio Ghibli American license? Oh. <laughs> uh the camera lock. <laughs> hey guys, Parker Rosso is a really good movie. I don't really speak about uh, Studio Ghibli movies all that much. Wait, do I want to go down? No, that's that's an evil abyss. Okay. I'm a fan of some of it. I like Nausicaa. I like uh, Porco Rosso. Who the hell is this guy? Can I get over here? I don't think I can. I mean, I could. Mickey is fucking dead. <laughs> hey! I thought there'd be a secret up there. I would've hit a secret up there. Can I do the shuffle thing? Yeah. Yeah! Dash Dance Mickey! It's moving. <laughs> this game is interesting. This game has problems, but it, I'm not having fun. Then the problems aren't that bad. They're all just minor things. It's just... Of the clock tower, Mickey thought the danger of being squished was finally over. Unfortunately, he thought wrong. The oafish clockmaker was the final master of illusion. Oh no, he blocks. Um, it's this the original game is so good. I like Disney DDR mix. I used to play it all the time at Disney because they used to have an arcade cabinet and they used to have it at Epcot. Okay, you're not. Wow. Hello? <laughs> he looked like he was off center. What is this boss fight? Was this guy in the original? I have like no memory of him. Ow. You gotta play that ducking hardcore mix. Next stop, Mini. Oh no, I didn't play a second game for the stream. <laughs> Finally, Mickey had acquired all the rainbow gems. Now he could cross the rainbow bridge and save his dearest Mini. I'm sorry, guys. I missed uh, 81. 
81 gemeralds throughout my adventure. I know where most of them are. Can I look at what I have? It's in leaderboards? Take that, Lance Banson. <laughs> Why are there leaderboards? I, I don't... I don't care. How do I... How many... How many peppers do I have? This has opened the achievement menu, which is now something I have to mouse over and deal with. Also, this uh, the Steam overlay is completely different now. I just want to know how many collectibles I got. Like, how many playing cards do I need? I gotta go get all the collectibles. On to the castle battlements raced Mickey. An eerie chill overcame him as he beheld the tall tower. He knew it was the heart of Miserable's power. It's the Rainbow Road! Let's go fight Miserable, and then decide if I'm going to go get all the thingies. <laughs> Probably not. There's no way that old witch is going to hurt my mini. Oh, they gave her a stage. Congrats, Miserable. I guess I shouldn't be surprised because the intro also had the stage. That was a rude trick, Miserable. At least I don't have to worry about gems. Where am I going? Oh, I didn't even see that. It like blended in with the the windowsill. What? Oh. Damn it! Three D rotation. Yeah, this is very much like Mickey Mania. We're climbing a, a rotating tower, or Battle Toads. Whatever you wanna. <laughs> Whatever your go-to is. Oh, Battletoads. I'm gonna have to stream you one day, Battletoads. You'll have to be nice to me. Was Mickey too late to save his beloved Minnie? Or was there still hope? I'm Are we gonna see evil Minnie? Oh. <laughs> Is it questionable? I've, I've looked a little bit up at it. You thought you were a match for me. Now that would be a castle of delusion. <laughs> I get it. Okay, so her boss fight's completely new. Before she would just teleport around and shoot. I don't know. She was really easy. Now she is a, uh... A sequence. Me. 
Oh no, she's making holes in the floor. It's ease one over and over again. She got home in ghosts. Her youth is gone as I foretold. Now curse his heart and blind his eyes. Go bring about his sad demise. Show no mercy. Blank. You have a lot of words for saying, like, a new kind of jump rope. <laughs> Man, she is full of copium. We're doing stuff now. Oh, hi, that's a hole. <laughs> oh, well, too little, too late, lady. <laughs> I'll take uh, the decahedron of uh, power. Isabel was dazed, but for how long? Suddenly. Mickey had an idea. What if he launched the rainbow gem at the witch? It might be his one and only chance. Take that! Time seemed to freeze for a moment before the gem burst into a cascade of rainbow light, filling every inch of the tower. No! But I wanted to be the fairest of them all! It was the cruel witch's turn to be trapped and powerless encased in the spreading light the terrible spell oh she's high minnie was free at last and miserable wilted and shriveled back to her true form minnie threw her arms around mickey and as he hugged her he vowed never to let her go again oh the gym mickey the castle was crumbling, but Mickey couldn't see a way out. What was this? Miserable was helping them escape. Mickey didn't have time to consider if this was a <laughs> They're just looking at us. They each held onto a broomstick and flew for their lives. <laughs> oh, she's having fun. Wisdom enough to know when she was defeated and why that was so. She had learned that there's a magic more powerful than any she had ever used. Mickey and Minnie knew it well, and even after what she had put them through, they shared its secrets with her. Now, Miserable's heart was filled with a different kind of magic. The magic of love. Aww. Aww. <laughs> now... Where were we? The end. No Pete in this. Interesting enough, Chip and Dale are here, and Chip has his, like, Rescue Ranger hat. I assume that's Pete in the, the bottom left. I could have put him in instead of the, the weird clock guy. It's a remake, go ham on it. So yeah, I guess this game did get like delisted for a bit, but then got relisted. Yeah, no, I picked it up for like three bucks sometime a long time ago. This is my first time playing it. It's okay. It's it's no uh it's no Genesis Castle Illusion 
Somehow just as short, though. Well, not as short. Uh, like, a little longer. Yes, yeah, so like I said, this was made by Sega of Australia, but they did bring in some of the original staff. That worked on the Castle of Illusion. And of course, you had to have Disney here and making sure that you didn't mess up. Actually, I wonder what Mickey voice actor this is. Because this is before one of them died, right? Or retired? I forget how it worked. Or maybe not before. Maybe, maybe time just ceases to make sense in my head. <laughs> the order of events. I know we just lost a uh, farmer, the the goofy voice, like two years ago, I think. Oh, you mean my DOS era? Yeah, I'm free. The chat's also free. The chat can escape its box. Yeah, um, one of the goofy voice actors we lost. I think. Uh, Farmer, I thought we lost. I think his name's Jeff Farmer? Not to be confused with Jumpin' Jeff Farmer. And also not to be confused with, uh, NWO Sting. Clone Jeff Farmer. <laughs> Ow, I kicked my table. Also, turns out I know a lot of Jeff Farmers. <laughs> Worlds of Rogue, what are you doing? Feel free to interrupt whatever Worlds of Rogue is doing. Chat. I don't like it. <laughs> also, it doesn't work up here. Because the way my chat box is. I think there is a way for me to do it where the name is always on top and then it's a new line underneath the name. Which I might do for the widescreen layout. And that doesn't work. Alright, so I only had this Disney game planned. I don't think I want to do Mickey Mania because I think that's kind of a long involved one. Oh, okay. Maybe it wasn't Bill Farmer. Okay. What was I thinking of? Or did Bill Farmer retire? There was something about Goofy voicing. I don't know. I mean, sure are a lot of credits. I kind of like, I kind of spaced out, but yeah, um, Grant Kirkhope is on this soundtrack. It's very, very obvious. I only have two people that passed away that worked on this game. That's sad. Nothing could be left to chance in the Castle of Illusion. Mickey knew he should leave no task undone. Mickey knows that he needs 100% the video game. The true master of illusion and almost fairest of them all. Ms. Rebel will stop at nothing to regain her power and restore herself to her youthful visage. 
So here's an issue is that I don't remember what stages were what. Oh, okay. It does tell you. I don't think this was doing it before. Yeah, so we missed a lot of gems here and we missed a playing card. I think I'm like down one playing card and one spicy pepper. So I guess we could go. Maybe we can go 100% things, maybe. I want to go get my uh, Mickey outfit, though. My knight outfit. Damn, Mickey's popping off. All right, so I missed like one gem during the Crash Bandicoot segment, I think, here. Let's see. Oh, we missed four. And a Mickey statue. And we missed a shit ton here. Wow. All right, let's just go 100%. You guys want 100% the game? Maybe something cool will happen. <laughs> I'm not touching your time attack. You can't make me. Oh, those are... Okay. The gems we've collected be turned into these. Alright, so we're missing four gems in this stage. I think I got up there before, yeah. Yeah, good thing they chose to remake, like, their iconic game and not, you know, Fantasia, which was a game so notorious that, like, Disney themselves asked Sega to pull it from shells. And it jeopardized their whole relationship with uh, Sega. Somehow they didn't choose that one. I don't know why. Oh, I can't do that. All right, did we forget some in here? It's a good chance we did. It's like if you try to jump against that, you end up... <laughs> Ow. I tried to get him as high as he could. Mickey don't got enough ups. Um, I feel like there's something up there. I can't quite tell. Hmm. Okay, we're just missing four. Oh, there's a chest over here. I don't think I ever hit this chest. No, I must have, or didn't care, because that's just an extra life. Game likes throwing extra lives at you like candy. Anything over here? The camera likes to be a jerk. I don't think so. Good afternoon, Plombo. We beat this game, but now I guess we're 100%ing it because I forgot to make a second. I forgot to play in a second Mickey Mouse game. I don't think I'm ready to play Mickey Mania just yet. That's going to require a whole day to itself.
Mickey's Euro Platformer Adventure. Presented by Traveler's Tales. There's a chest down here. Nope. <laughs> Mickey found himself back in the clearing and back to his original size. Oh, interesting. It lets you go back in. It's also not a fail state for falling through. The... So I guess this works like the little teacup segment in the... Moving. Wait, was there something down there? Oh, it's just that chest. I guess we can go get it again. Oh no, I guess I can't because I never died. You can only get it a life if you died. I got scared. Whoops. <laughs> I thought that was a leaf I could stand on. I have some troubles with the 3D camera in this game. Yeah, I've only ever rented that game, Mickey Mania, and I think I have tried it as like you know, going through emulation, checking out ROMs, and it's like, hey, look at this. And they're like, oh yeah, this game. And I just don't remember liking it all that much. I remember the first stage being oddly difficult. Like, even more than, like, later stages in that game. So I think it starts with the Mad Doctor. Or does it start with Steamboat Willie? I think it starts with Steamboat Willie, and then it goes to Mad Doctor. Mad Doctor is the, the stage that is like a really strange difficulty jump. Mickey Mania, but I can only play stages as they come out in public domain. That's my gimmick. <laughs> So you're saying it's a Traveler's Tales game. <laughs> That's rude. I'm rude. The Traveler's Tales design of, hey, check this shit, sick shit out without actually designing a video game around it. I don't like the way the flowers deflate. They're also only in the screen, I just realized. Urgh. Whoa. I got a shmoove. Yeah. <laughs> I like how cute the marsh the, the marshmallows the mushroom people are in this game. Alright. I remember losing one gem here. Did I lose more than one? Because I just was like, well I guess I fucked up. Okay, there are three gems somewhere. Well, I didn't find the three gems. I did get that one gem. Oh, 
when you hit return the castle, it doesn't put you back in the hub. That's a pain. Um, where are those three gems? And the Mickey statue. I don't know why I'm 100%ing this. I just want to see the outfits, I guess. Three gems. And we know they're not in the Crash Bandicoot segment. Go back after the Apple Falls? Hmm. Maybe. It's just the, the thing is you can't... Uh, anything that's a slope, you can't climb up. I do think it does end in flat ground, but why would they spawn gemeralds? I don't think it's in the tree segment either. I don't need to get that chest because I already have it. But my guess is a chest, but where would I be missing a chest? Just to show you guys, I already have this chest. For some weird reason, you can only grab chests, um, you can only break open chests with a, an apple toss. Or an item toss. Uh, and that star that I missed over there is just health. Do we think it's in... It's like the only other place it can be, right? Is in the tree. That or the Crash Bandicoot segment. Just don't... No. Yeah, see, if that's what a slope does, is it's like, forces you downward. I keep thinking I see something down there, but it's just that chest, which I've already gotten multiple times. I'll get it again because it's an extra life. Aha! Alright chat, where do you think? Right through the middle. All right, while we're here, let's go do the the Crash Bandicoot segment. All right, one up there. I don't think you can bounce on these. Well, the projectiles, not the flower. If I was three gemeralds, where would I be? Oh. And a statue. I'm missing a statue as well. It's like the first statue in the game. Yeah, so the that disappears and you can't make the jump back. Yeah. Trying as hard as the edge as I can, it's just <laughs> Woo! Hmm. <laughs> Oh, 
Gemma rolls, Gemma rolls, where are you? Ow. I can't get the thingy now, I fucked up. Except I didn't, because enemies respawn. Yay. Okay. That's a chest I have. Yeah, the only thing I could think of is the falling leaf section. Uh, I guess it doesn't count if you've already gone through that path. I might have to look this one up. It's like, this is really suspicious, but I think it's just to give you another chance, because there were collectibles up here on this branch, I think. Oh, it makes a clank. That's good. You can't, like, really climb up a slope. I was curious if I could ride the leaf down, but I, I fucked up. Then I was like, no, I'll fall through it, and then, then that happened. Then the spider came back down. <laughs> I would play the DDR Disney game, but that that stream would totally get muted and stuff because those songs come from a an Avix mode CD called Disney Super Euro Beat. There's a DDR for Disney. Uh, there's another Disney DDR on N64 that just has regular Disney songs, no Euro Beat. I think I went all the way down here, didn't see anything. I think that's the only one is, um... Also, sometimes you can't collect the gems. Sometimes the gems are, like, on a three different 3D plane than you are. <laughs> that's okay, I already had that gem, but still very suspicious. Was there something down there? It's hard for me to tell. Camera does such a good job of not showing you what you need to see. But yeah, I think it's the only DDR game on the uh, N64. And then the Disney DDR game also got ported to Game Boy Color. Fuck. Guys, I don't know where the... I don't know where the hell this gem is. I think I am gonna have to look it up. Like, this is the first level. <laughs> I can't get all the gems in. Was there something over here? No. Then, you know, then I see shadows and stuff, and it's like, is that a thing? Can I interact with it? Damn 3D game. I'm gonna get the extra life. I don't want it. I guess I need to look. Oh, I'm tired. Streaming takes it out of me. Oh, nothing over here. 
All right, chat. I'm cheating. Because uh, honestly, this game doesn't doesn't respect my time. <laughs> uh, let's see. We Castle of Illusion 2013 maps. Let's see if there's maps. I don't want to follow a FAQ. I just want maps. <laughs> No, that game, that's Castle of Illusion, the old game. I want the new game. No, that's the old game. I want the new game. I'll type remake. This is why you can't name a game the same thing. Uh, let's see. Collectible guide, okay. What's up? It's just gonna be text. I hate text. Diamonds. There are 75 diamonds in every level. Oh my god, this guy hosted pictures, but they're all photo buckets, so they don't work anymore. Oh no, they do. After completing the area with the arrow signs, do not leave just yet. Yeah, go into the path in the top right corner. What? What? Did I... Top right corner? Did I not go in every path? Well, that's the statue. I guess the gems are somewhere in here. Bully. <laughs> well, I better keep this page open. I thought I went through all the paths and they just kept looping, but I guess I didn't go through those two specific ones at the end of the... Hold on, I didn't realize Mickey tripped. <laughs> That's pretty good. You know, Mickey Mania also has a Crash Bandicoot segment. Do you think Crash is like Amiga, like he's not Amiga core, but he's a little Amiga adjacent. DDR for GBC is sick and I love it. There's also poppin' music. So now I have this guy's statue. The old oak, the tired and grumpy old tree and former guardian of Vera Forest does not like to be disturbed by forest travelers. Wake at your own risk. All right, so that level is completely done. This level, I just need gems. Or diamonds, sorry. Crash's character design is Amiga Core. Yeah, kind of. Okay, I think I remember where I missed up. Boo. Boo. I think it was like a whole segment that I didn't realize was... I thought... I didn't realize it was an optional segment. I think that's the case. There's a health up beneath me. And yeah, we could probably ignore this first opening segment. Actually, I don't know how to get this guy. Now that I think about it. Oh. What the fuck? <laughs> Mickey, why do you need a butt bounce? Fuck. It's very blind. I don't know if this is how I'm supposed to do it. And it's also just for one diamond.
I guess that's the only way to do it. This is invisible walled, so. And this guy you can't bounce off of. Yeah, I didn't get that diamond either. I guess because I went high, I didn't go low. Boo. So let's see, what are the other Disney games I haven't played? We haven't done any magical quest on this stream, except for, I think one of the extra lives we did a magical quest. I don't know if we played the whole thing or not. I think we did a co-op run of two. I could be mistaken. So we haven't done any of those. There are three of those games. One has Minnie. One has Donald. One is Nikki by himself. He gets to be a gay fireman, which is kind of cool. Okay, I went up and did that stuff, and I think that's what I missed, is I missed stuff over here. Ow. No, I got this stuff. Oh, was I supposed to go up and I didn't go up? Let's restart. I might have to make that jump again, though. It's a very tricky jump because it's like almost max distance. Right, so restarting is not a really good option because you do lose all your progress. But going down was a, a point of return. That's just for one gem that I already have. I should just take deaths, but I never know where the checkpoints are. I don't. I don't think they're visual. All right. So what did I not do? Did I do this? Yeah, this got me to the clouds. I remember clouds now. So I guess the question is, did I miss any in here? I realize that they do a good job of like, here's the collectibles you already gotten, but then the chests don't reflect that. I know I left some behind here. But I had gotten them the first time. What? <laughs> Clearly you could hear me hitting the jump button there. It was like Mickey was like f falling. He like entered the tiptoe animation and then couldn't jump. Some weird stuff was happening. I'm gonna blame Traveler's Tales. They didn't make this game, but some reason I just want to blame them. I hear Leander is good. Yeah, I don't know why I have such a tough t time with the edges of these clouds. Ephemeral clouds.
Last time I just walked off, but I thought I still had time to jump. Need some coyote time on these clouds. So you follow this path, you get the gems, gem get, gem get, and then there's a playing card over here. So I assume that's the end of the cloud area. There she is, there's my queen. Okay, what did we fuck up here? I've got gems down there. Why is there health over here? That's not cool putting land there where the camera can't see. Alright, now we have a 3D segment. I'm pretty sure I went everywhere. But just in case. I'll double check. It seems it can get pretty tricky with hiding paths if the first stage is anything to go off of. Grant Kirkhope, your orchestra hit is too it's too grand. Yeah, okay. I already got that one. Is this a stage exit? Or is this just... Help, I'm missing 14 gems. I have no idea where the hell they are. Thirteen gems, really. Alright, let me check that thread again. Oh, I thought the game crashed. <laughs> I forgot I clicked off of it. Huh, I'm missing 14 diamonds here. No, I don't want to do that. Some games are like we put the we make the collectibles disappear. When you're in time attack. Boo. Even cheating, I can't do this. That's the Miggy statue, but I already have that. Fourteen gems is a lot of gems. I fucked up. I already have those down there. Oh. 
And this is how you get the statue. Clunk. <gasps> Secret. That's a lot of gem rolls. Now I only need six. That is pretty secret, jeez. This game is not fucking around. Alright, I don't think there's any in the clouds for us. I feel like we... We did all that. I mean, 69 is a good gem count, but... That leads, that leads to the clouds. Let's see if there's anything up there. Since that's a no way down. So let's see. There's a sliding area that goes back to the right. And the star is in the middle. Slide down into the little area to the right where there's a hidden diamond. When you get to the cave after seeing the witch, there's a mushroom in the ground? I don't know. Maps would have been way more helpful, but I understand this is a 3D game and not as easily created. So the witch is going to show up here. When you get to the cave after seeing the witch, there's a mushroom on the ground just before the ghost. Jump straight up and press to the left. You will stand on a ledge and jump to get the chest. Oh! That's really tricky. I'm still missing three. The guy doesn't label any other hard to get things. Aww. Let me finish the level so that they're locked in. Can I get behind the door? I don't think it would help me. So we're still missing three gems. Then look at this guide again. Under the first red ghost, there's a hidden cave. We found that. When you see bats, jump on one that flies above you to grab diamonds. That'd be hard to see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we've done all that. There's a sliding area that goes back to the right, and the star is in the middle. Slide down into the little area to the right where there is a hidden diamond. That is weird, but it only says one diamond. And I'm definitely probably after a chest, since chests have three diamonds. So what am I missing? Like, I know about those diamonds. Didn't expect this game to hide its collectibles so well. Hmm. 
Yeah, I got that. That's the red ghost. Now grab those diamonds. Like... Maybe I'm not supposed to get that one diamond that way. The way I'm doing it, which is like this long jump. Maybe I'm like slide from above or something. I'm trying to understand how the camera works because I can see gems. Do we think it's in the... Hmm. Okay, this is the part where it, it like slides down. Okay, I missed this diamond completely. So there are two diamonds I need. I wonder if we're all in little caves like this. There's nothing over there. Two diamonds just hang out here, but not anything for me. <laughs> oh. oh! It's making a suit of armor. All right, let's check the clouds again. I'm looking for two diamonds. Every stage has 75 diamonds. Can I climb this? I never went down here. I did a... Uh... Ow, I held left. That was my punishment. <laughs> I think I do have to beat the stages, though, because it, like, yells at you. It's like, you're not going to keep anything. Let me see what it says. Yeah, all unsaved progress. So you do have to beat the stage. Pombo, we were discussing uh, Mickey Mouse games. This is a fucked up secret. I found it, but it's, it's fucked up. It's fucked up and I don't like it. Alright. We know for a fact it's not in this thorn maze, so we can just bypass it. Alright. We actually did it. That's 100% of stage... Level 1, Acts 1 and 2. Yep. And bosses don't have collectibles. So now... Oh, 100% of that level on the first go. We missed 14 gems and a card. Oh, I remember. This is the area where I went the wrong way. <laughs> I should probably change the stream title to like, I guess I'm 100%ing this now? Question mark?
I don't know why I'm doing it. I don't know why my why Firefox is being all weird. Hold on. How do you look at like resources used in Firefox? Task manager, there we go. It is Twitch that's doing it. It's not an extension. The question is why? Because I don't even have the I don't even have the player. Player's not even going. Also, normally the player does go. I don't know. Then I tap out, and Twitch is like, "Yeah, I don't know. I'm fine." I accidentally closed the tab I was using. Okay. All right, when I'm done with the magic hat. I'm cheating. Mostly because I don't give a shit. Okay, we missed 14 in here. Are there any cursed Mickey Mouse games? I guess there's that cursed Goofy game. On Super Nintendo? There's like, Goofy's outdoor whatever. I don't know if that's actually cursed or not. Here's the magic hat. So I really fucked up the area after this. So let's try not to fuck that up, I guess. the statue. Oh, you just walked through this. <laughs> okay, I think I have all the playing cards now. I got the achievement World of Illusion. That's kind of cute. I did not mean to go in here. Okay. How to do this in a way that doesn't fuck me up. Mm, that sends you straight up. Okay. I need to keep this blue box open and alive. I don't know why I thought so hard about that. Listen, ow. I think 
that's all the gems we didn't get from this area. So there's still nine more gem rolls. Right. Enemies. Unless I hit a chest, but I don't... I doubt it. Okay, I can't go to the left. That's blocked off. Can someone screenshot Mickey's pained face? From like a clip or something? Or just now? Cause it's really good. I don't think I commented how good it was. It's very good. Who put a plane here? I see them. No, wait, those aren't gems. Maybe they're gems. Come back, plane. I need you. Okay, we got all the things here. Unless there's a secret I wasn't looking for. I missed. Come back, plane. Nah, I already think I got that, though. Okay, these are some, like, ones that Huh. Where's it gonna put me? God damn it. So I still need nine more gems from that stage. Oh, I think I'd be, I could become mag Magician Mickey. I think we got all the magic. the stream guys i haven't done it in so long so it's still peak as the kids say kids say that right about my stream so apparently there is a platform down here that the camera doesn't want to show you maybe i see the string for it We're back at 69. Just make sure there's nothing here. So I'm missing six. That doesn't go any higher. Oh, you could see the platform from here. Okay, I'm a dummy. Yeah, I don't think you can do anything like... I 
If I was six diamonds, where would I be? I get the hydrate. Thank you. I appreciate the hydration. Now, where's that last damn Chaos Emerald? I made that way more difficult than it actually should have been. <laughs> Whatever, I don't need it. There's chests that I'm missing. Like, they could be in the blocks. I don't have to be as careful anymore. Because I already solved the puzzle. Let's just make sure. Let's just go down here. It's like I already got all these diamonds. This is the end of the level, basically. Clown horn. Clown horn dot wave. For some reason I was like, can I jump through this mirror? Would that be a thing I could do? No. Yeah, I don't think there's anything with the mirror, but... Yeah, this is like the end of the level. You want Fago? I haven't had Fago in... God, I. So many years, probably 10 years. Um, okay, I'm gonna come back to this level.
trying to think. I'm at, I met Mickey, Magician Mickey once at Disney World. He hugged my mother. It was very sweet. Okay, so I'm missing a statue and four. I'm missing nine again. Sorry, <laughs> that's not nine. That's 11. Counting's good. And a statue. I had the playing card already. Apparently there's a tricky, tricky chest to get. I look quite dapper, don't I? Alright, so what's your, what's the go-to Fago flavor? Make sure we do all these paths, I guess. It almost looks like a hole in there. What are the juggalos into nowadays? They still drink Fago? to respawn everything. So I think I need the bat and I need my mushroom friends. No, I already got that. Hmm. Okay. Right. Okay. I remember that chest. So I think I got that chest already. That was the wrong hole. Hey. How many levels did I end with the score 69? Like, not on purpose. You've never tried it? I I used to see Fago at um at the Dollar Tree. Oh, that's not the right head. I'm a dummy. That one, that one's frowning. That one is the wrong way. This is correct. And this one. Apparently I missed the, the statue and it's in here. I 
don't know where. It's just somewhere in here. <laughs> After you solve the monkey puzzle, you'll climb up and to the left, you'll see bats flying. Okay. Nope. Helps if I make jumps. Oh, I see. How did I forget this? How did I not find this? So this might be a level where I didn't ex inspect everywhere. Yeah, I definitely didn't get this. Well, there went my nice score. So we're on the lookout for three more. Bomb pop sounds nice. My friends are into Prime, which is like a, a Gatorade alternative. And that has like a one of those like bomb pop flavors. I'm not gonna go back. Oh, wait, there we go. I don't like Prime because it tastes like artificial sugar. That I can't really get along with. But they, they, they drink Coke Zero, so they're all in on the artificial magic sugar. I'm not looking where I'm going. <laughs> like, see a bat? And I was like... Hey, Cory. Uh, well, uh, Blob mentioned it. I've never had it. I don't remember what flavors of Fago I've had. We used to get Fago at the mall. Because our mall had a dollar store in it. Our mall had an arcade with DDR, so we'd play DDR and then we'd go get Fago. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, put me over here. Okay. That fuck. Okay, I guess the death zone. Oh, I fucked up. They're not going to respawn. Oh, they respawn. Okay, maybe let's not die. Oh, I have to go get the statue again. That's right. Or the castle, castle statue piece. normally do this but the game was short it was a two-hour game so just for content we're doing 100% at the, at the same time we're gonna rub against my like time limit just checking checking if there's anything down there Kinda is. All right, hundred percent. For this act. I like that they trick you with that. It's pretty good. Ta -da. So that's it for that level, right? Because, well, that's it for that um, area.
Didn't get a statue. I think I got another painting. Yeah. Alright, so that's 100%. This one still needs quite a bit. Though I did get the, the chili pepper already. I never thought to check back here. Um, uh, I don't want the noise of it ticking. <laughs> oh. No, I already got this, I think. Yeah. It's a good secret, though. Well, it'd be better if the camera didn't take its sweet time. Okay, nothing down here. I was asking whether to go to fl uh, flavors if they go. Can I break that? Okay. Orange and fireworks. Okay. What's the Juggalo classic? I think, I think the fruit punch, I think, is the Juggalo classic, if I remember right. They have a blue raspberry one, right? I think I remember liking the blue raspberry Fago. Cherry Festival? Okay. So in these scenes, there are these uh, pieces of geometry that's falling down. And... Oh no, Mickey has a concussion. <laughs> yeah, I think I got everything here. I'm not a big fan of... Yeah, I got that. Did I go up or did I go down? I guess I had to go down. Looks like I've collected all these. Do not like the skeleton fish. How did I not get that last time? That's crazy. No, Mickey Mill. <laughs> okay, what was this area? There's something else. Because I'm missing so many gems. Can I fall down? No. That'd be cool. It's almost like I didn't do a whole area. Wait, are there failure gems? I don't think I ever came down here. <laughs> I love that noise. I think I did fuck this up. No, I got the chest. I remember this chest. 
He said the thing. He said hot dog. I don't remember this. I somehow did not get this. It was all in here. This one ledge. I guess I can just go. I don't really have a need for the collectibles. And there are collectibles up top, but I already got those. So I think that's 100% of that level. Merman statue unlocked. The Mer people. The Mer people of Subterranea were once a proud and noble race and rulers of their underwater land. The mer people will defend their gem to the very last merman. All right, so we're still missing three gems there, but I'm gonna take a break from that. This should be a hundred percent. Yep, yep. I wish this game had like a, a quick select or like a quick way to view what stages needed to be done. This is like the last level. I don't know if I want to do this one right now. All right, I'm missing 11 in here. And I'm missing three. Plus the chili pepper and the statue. Wow, okay. Jeez. I really fucked this up. So I think I just need the gems in this one. Okay, for some reason I thought I could outrun that. Ah, All right, I'm pretty sure I got this chest. As weird as it is because sometimes you stand on the thing you're not supposed to stand on. Dog. Yeah, that was the chili pepper. There's a bat up there. There's something very visceral about Mickey Mouse smacking face first into a bat. <laughs> the controller vibrates, it just... So what am I missing? I went that way. Okay, that's just for an extra Mickey. Mm. I'm just doing leaps of faith now just to see if like the camera scrolls to something. Wow, I got absolutely destroyed. <laughs> I thought I would have enough time. Okay. There's goop here. I don't think the camera's rising, so I don't think there's anything there. I gotta make sure I check like little walls and pathways that I can make. Okay, you do that later, but I thought maybe if I jumped over there. 
I don't know what I thought would happen. You can tell I've kind of... I'm a little checked out. <laughs> Whoops. I'm a little checked out. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, so we got these diamonds. Let's follow the path for now. It goes back to the left. It goes back down. It doesn't look like there's any path over there. Maybe down from there? Yeah, I remember this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I don't remember that bat. I'm not going to get that chance again, am I? Hey! Okay, so there's going to be a bat. But only on the second loop. And you only get one chance. Do not miss your chance to blow. Opportunity... Blows once in a life blow? Mom's spaghetti? <laughs> there was probably a time I knew the, the the rap from the end of 8 Mile and or whatever, Lose Yourself, whatever. I guess it's not the rap from the end. There's probably a time and place. Yeah, don't remember this bat. Apparently I got all these. I had an M. Okay, I remember the ball. <laughs> I watched that movie on DVD. But it's been so long. There's like a point in time that Eminem was like the biggest thing in the world and I, I guess he's gone through a resurgence or like a little Like he, he, he disappeared for a while because of court cases and then came back and stuff. I don't know. I'm not up on my Eminem I'm more just like jumping to see where there are things Like is there a thing down there? I'm still missing a lot of gems. Like, a lot. I think when I was watching wrestling, I think that monster song got really popular. It made for a really good promo in wrestling. Okay, there is definitely a path behind this guy. Okay, I need four more gems. Is he alone, though? Do you have a path? Hmm. I only got six candles. Ow! I forgot you respawned! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why would you spawn me there? <laughs> Game pulled a trick on me. <laughs> Game said nah. <laughs> that wasn't even like the last ground I touched, was it? OK, 
Okay, four more gems. If I was a gemeral, where would I be? I was gonna say, I don't even think I can get in there, but there's a little gap. Oh, with this outfit? Yeah, this strut? Oh, it's so good. Oh, I want to make a gif of this, but it's going to be really hard. <laughs> Are you a thing? Nope. I saw a windowsill and like, can I interact with you? <laughs> I'm desperate, okay? I remember following this path and it getting me these gems. Well, I already got that. They give you a second chance. Just nice. The bat didn't come back though. There's the bat. So I need to respawn the bat and the night guy. Ow. I think this is the end of the level. Stop it. Trying to respawn the bat. Huh. What the fuck? I guess he doesn't have a hitbox there. That's okay, I wanted to look at this area again. Can I go down the spiral boards? Well, they disappear after a while, so... I need to see if they respawn again. Okay, so I got whatever that was, but I had that last time. No, they put a death. They put a death zone. Oh, let me look at the the walkthrough. Hard to find diamonds in the castle act two or act one. Sorry. Section where balls going up and down two ramps. Near the end of this passage, there's a hole in the ceiling. Jump straight up into it when you have the chance to grab three diamonds. As you progress, there will be two knights on the right side of the walls. They throw maces. The second one should be killed and you can jump in for a passage. Good, did that. There will be platforms that come out as you make your way up in the circular area. There are diamonds around, but at the top, you should know some bats flying. Jump on the bats to get higher. Yeah, okay, I've done that. That first one, though, I don't know if I did that. I might have done it the first time. I seem to recall. Right, I forgot. I forgot that if you do this, I gotta go do all the things I did before back again. Hot dog! Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dog! Mini. I'm just looking around. The only thing is that only gets me. He said it was for three diamonds. I need four diamonds, which makes me a little worried. Oh, good. It's ripped for me. Oh, thank you. I appreciate the effort. Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, it's a little spider. 
It's a little Black Widow. I didn't even see that last time. It's cute and everything. Are you a hint? There's one up there, too. Ah! <laughs> I thought it was teaching me something. Okay. They're just, they're just hanging out. I saw the one at the intro now on the barrel. I like Magician Mickey. I like that picture of like a goofy Lord just like freaking out. <laughs> just smacking into every bat possible. Just, just seeing what it's like. I forget. Are you a life? No, I just. The well, lives respawn, so you can never, you can never game over. And I'm sure this game doesn't have game overs and continues. Excuse me? Excuse me? I I jumped on him? Like that? That that goofy picture. That one's pretty good. A oh, gorsh! I don't have a goofy. I barely have a Mickey. I think everyone has a Mickey. You just go, ha oh, ha! Oh Minnie! What happened? <laughs> what happened? I'm trying to speed run, okay? <laughs> Damn, that hitbox is good. Someone just needs to make a game where the lives have con limited continues, but it's like a modern 32-bit platformer, like a Sonic Mania. Someone needs to show these Gen Z's what it's like to lose the entire progress of your day. <laughs> of your stream. They need to learn. <laughs> what do you mean they got limited continues? What, what is this? It sent me to the title screen. What? <laughs> I think there's some games that are like modern retro games that do that as like a hardcore option or something. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. That looks like there's stuff up there. You said go back. If you're talking about this area, I already did this area. It's too early in the round to play conservative. Where you go up this path. But I didn't see this, but I don't, I think this is connected to that path. Yeah. I've already done that. But I did not do the ceiling hole here. No, you're good. <laughs> Fuck, Mickey died. That doesn't just take damage from you. Mickey's crushed and gone. I'm just making sure I got everything. Like, I'm doing this the most dumb way possible, but it's because, I don't know, I'm having fun. Let's see what happens after... Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll show you because I'll go up again. But I just realized that gave me four, which is what I needed. The, the guide said it gives you three, so the guide was wrong. So that is my last four. So I'm just gonna go and get it. Yeah, out there is an extra life and, um, I don't know, some diamonds, but I already got them.
can't believe he lied to me. Oh, you're real. <laughs> Not a fake statue. That's okay. We're just going this way. Okay, maybe I shouldn't just, like, take all the hits and die. Because you do need to beat the stage. <laughs> Yay! That's the stage. What? <laughs> I lost all my momentum. What the fuck? That bat was like, no. Nah. Alright. I forget that enemies respawn. <laughs> that was like the number thing. One, number one way I die is I'll like go through an area. I was like, I killed the guy. And he's just, he's back. And I don't know why, because like I play so many old video games. Oh, I have to go get that again. Maybe I should start carrying. Get the health and... I don't wanna... I think it's because it takes them so long to respawn. Like, even just walking over here didn't respawn them. Which is, I mean, it's good, but... It makes me forget. Wow, that was active for days. Alright, now we just beat level. Beat level. Hey, how long has the stream been running? So I don't think I think I can go late tonight because I don't have to cook dinner. Scary bat. Wait, do you go faster when you jump? Hmm. Dang, I don't know if I'll get the dumb tonight. Oh, I should just hit next act because I need the next act and hitting return just makes you go all the way back. I got SpongeBob is in this game. Okay, so that's completed. Now, this is the last uh, collectibles I need, which are three diamonds, a chili pepper and a statue. There's a good chance the diamonds and the statue piece are connected. Like, if I find one, I find the other. Hidden Mickey! I really think they should reward me for doing that. Alright, you can't surface. Why did it have to be a water level? Not that I hate water levels. I don't understand the disdain for water levels. Though I'm not a big fan of these skeleton fish because... The hitboxes in this game are kind of... jank. Okay, so that pushes you in automatically. I don't think you can get behind those fish, but maybe you can. I mean, you could just damage boost through them, I guess. Let's keep going. If that's at the beginning of the level, that's something I know to, to check later. I think I got all the collectibles in this segment. Because they respawn, which is nice. It's nice of them to do that. <laughs> I 
Mickey getting flushed down the toilet noise is pretty good. Oh, this was a dark area. Maybe... I remember this. Ow. There's some holes in the ceiling. I get the feeling I got that. Remember when I died here because I thought this was a 3D segment? I don't think I can go back. Yep. Oh, maybe I could with the... the bat. But what makes the bat respawn? Uh, I don't think it I, I don't think this is a path I I don't think this is the way That'd be really cool of it if, like oh you need to get back to the boulder But I just don't see how She's not really in control of the timing for this segment And that bat automatically dies. Hey, I'm trying to look at things. <laughs> Mickey drowned to death. I see a hole. Uh, sure, because I don't really care about this game. And I... That's not a good hole. All right, that's the castle piece. Okay, I remember going up there. Oh, <laughs> sorry, I didn't read that. There's Mickey. Mickey, hidden Mickey. Like, this is weird because I can't tell what's gonna be the next platform. Like, you think you're gonna jump onto the gear, but it's in the foreground. I don't know. Just another, another 2D, 3D pet peeve. Okay. Oh. All right, we got that last time. I see some diamonds, but I'm pretty sure we got those last time. Yep. Oh, really? At the start of this segment. Oh. I also forget you don't jump on the gears, you jump on the platforms. There's a chest? Oh, before the clock. Right at the start of this. Where the gears are. Okay, we're looking for... Whoa! Okay, I think I might know where it is. I just need that bat to respawn. Oh, back down, though. I don't know. Okay, that bat's being weird. 
But I think that might be... No, hold on. Oh, okay, I see it now. For some reason, the camera was not showing me this. Okay, so that's everything but the chili pepper. Yeah. Fuck, those are ceilings. <laughs> some reason I thought they'd be one ways. Does this game even have one ways? I don't even know. Alright. We gotta keep an eye out for... The chili pepper. We already hit that guy. I already hit that. There's something up there. We got these. Uh, hit boxes. <laughs> oh, Mini, I'm glitching out. Should probably conserve my candles a bit. Because I need them for. Oh. For getting secrets, opening chests. Ugh. For some reason, I read that as I'm back from GeoCities. <laughs> Welcome back from GeoCities. <laughs> what web ring did you hit up? Alright, that crushed me last time. The Safeway web ring. I'm not familiar with that one. <laughs> That's not the anime turnpike. They give me a bat here. Also one of these. The camera lock is very unfortunate there. I have no idea what the fuck just happened. I can't jump. Oh, it's because I'm falling. <laughs> I was like confused. I was very confused. <laughs> Look at you, non game FAFIC use. I found Xbox 360 achievements. So let's see. I found secrets on some of these. Can I ride you? <laughs> no. Do you think I got this chili pepper and then like died? There's like a good chance I did that. That does that. What's over here? Hot dog. You can give me information, but you know, keep in mind there's a stream delay and uh, I, I end up finding things, so, you know. <laughs> I 
I like to go my own path sometimes. <laughs> so sorry if I frustrate you by like, he's ignoring my su my <laughs> my scoop. Mickey, you can jump that. You're okay. I, I, if it was any other game, I probably would care more, but I don't care because I've already beat this game. Shoot. And it's just like little diamonds every now and then. They're like the most nothing collectible. All right, did I get the costume? Is that all? I got Oath statue. Yeah, I think I'm still missing. Missing a chili pepper. The Oath. The Oath was once a clockmaker who created the clock tower using his gem. However, the more power, the more he used its power, the slower and clumsier he became. I like that the gems are cursed now. All right, we fucked up a lot in the library. All right, let's just do this one first. So we need 10 diamonds, the statue piece and the chili pepper in here. <laughs> so one thing that's an issue is I already got this one if I remember right the stage is like back and forth a bit I know I've missed a lot during the fuck the A's the A's are so good in this game let me go down here and get the marble real quick. I said real quick. You know, I bet I didn't break all the lights also. Here's some marbles. I don't know why they changed this so you have to have a marble to open chests. Maybe to make it more like puzzly, like, oh, you need to get a marble first. Yeah, I was pretty sure I hit that one. But learning that death doesn't save your your progress. I went up there before. Whatever, I already did that. It makes such a gross noise when you kill them, too. And they respawn immediately. I don't like them. Yeah, so there's like a whole path I didn't go. In this area. Because I accidentally went the, the way of progress. That's a good trick. I always like this bop in the original game. All right, so Jello, you can bounce off of. You can walk through. Grand Kirko, really Grand Coker being. It's when this oboe comes in. Fuck. <laughs> I don't need these. I already have these. What am I doing?
I'm 30 or 40 years old and I don't need this. I should have a redeem that's just Master Shake saying that. Oh, I saw this chili pepper. I never got it though. Okay. You don't sink in it. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I, I feel like the guy that's like playing the board game, not Jackie Chan. And then he hits the buzzer and he just stares at you. He's like, <laughs> yeah, apparently this is how you're supposed to get that. <laughs> it's coming through here. But instead I just held down. Well, I don't think you're supposed to be able to walk on them. <laughs> Alright, that's the chili pepper out of the way. I got the the achievement name for that was Quack Shot. Like the video game. So yeah, we're missing diamonds from here. Cause the segment ended up railroading me into a 2D segment. I felt like I was playing Sonic Frontiers. So let's try to avoid that. Apparently this was the secret path. Still missing three and the statue. Yeah, once you got here, it was like you get railroaded. Okay, that's all done. Whoa, you're fast. <laughs> that like destroyed my momentum. <laughs> All right, so the statue has to be probably in this area. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. No, I can walk this. I see Jello. I don't think I'm supposed to do that from that direction. Oh, I'm trying to find so many ways to destroy this video game. Yeah, I already got the gems over there. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, I remember coming down here. But did I come here? I saw him. I got got. Because I'm being a dummy. Wait, where the hell am I? <laughs> it's like, you should probably be butt, butt bouncy on these. I feel bad for the video game because it gave me an achievement when I collected that and only for the game to take it away from me immediately afterwards. So I think I have all the statue pieces now too. That just leaves the three, the di three diamonds in that one level that I didn't complete. And then the diamonds in the next act of this stage, which I think is also three. 75, 20, chili pepper. Yeah, I'm good. I just realized he shoves that emerald in his ass. Okay, so I can continue on. So act two, I think I'm just missing 
the three diamonds, which is probably a chest. It's been weird because the game has has not done any of the voice acting. God. No, I don't want the timer, but the A's are too powerful. I need more gems than I thought I did here. I need six. Okay, not up there. Okay, the game wants me to go there. Right. And it blocks you off. I almost sequence broke. Silly Mickey. All right, there's a chest over there. I forget that hitbox is gigantic. <laughs> I made like a bad decision. Okay, you have to preempt them. Preemptively jump there. Anything else? It looks like it wants to go up. How did I forget those? I bet I, I bet I got those. I don't like this part because there's like split paths. This is where I was complaining about like this is technically the failure route. Because if you if you let one of these books hit you, it puts you on the failure route. And that's why I was complaining about putting goodies on the failure route. I think you could put health ups on the failure route and stuff like that, but I don't think you could put collectibles. Yeah, I already have this. I didn't need to do that. I got these. So we're looking for three gems. Three diamonds. I, I use the term gems forgetting that the game uses those for the big MacGuffins. Where'd that A guy come from? Magical A. Okay, I'm pretty sure I got all the thingies in here. I think I forgot to spawn one of the, the SpongeBob's. And just going back, just, you know. Okay, I remember this. You're not fast. You don't fall fast enough to do what I'm trying to do. Or I'm trying to not land and then... You're too thick. Mickey, you're too thick. <laughs> but... 
No, that's a ceiling. I did it again. <laughs> Whoops. Where am I? Wow, you spawned me all the way over here? That's crazy. Okay, I actually have to give a sh little bit of a shit. I did that, and then he fell down. So I missed all those gems. That's okay. Wait, I can just... I can just fail state that? All right. I thought it would spawn me here. I'm crazy. All right, let's actually do this part correctly, I guess. My guess is somewhere in here. So I know there's a life down here, or maybe that was a Mickey statue. Oh, I thought I would. Never mind. I go up. Whoa! I hit the ceiling. <laughs> Whoops. Did I go up that red book? Hmm. Whoa! Video game. Something's. Something's got my question. Okay, that's making me hit the ceiling. I don't think that's what I need to do. Can't be three up there. You don't move fast enough. in here. <laughs> it's funny that I can tell what areas I've not looked in like when I first played because I'll be like yeah I didn't do that. Oh thank you for the follow. Let's write the name. But thank you for the follow, Jaden. Jaden Mason, the Bendy Master. Yeah, we beat it a couple hours ago. I'm just uh, getting the hundred percent now. How are you doing? I uh, I usually play a Disney game when I come back from Disney, which I. I just got back. Feels good to be back. That means there are six. Wait, what? How are there six? Oh, there are six. Six remaining thingies and they're in this level. Yeah, I played all the uh, regular illusion games. So it was like time to play the remake. 
I'm a big fan of the original. This game's okay. What it does different is pretty good. Uh, there's things I'm not into, like the 3D segments and maybe how floaty Mickey is. All right, so we are looking for six diamonds. Six diamonds. Ow. I also have like 32 lives and stopped caring. <laughs> ah, that was a cool hitbox. Also a cool hitbox. <laughs> All right, maybe I should start caring. Okay, those were collected. I did the magic hat already correctly. So where would the chest be if I... I'm guessing there's one chest or two chests or maybe just a secret area. Yeah, we already got the ones down here. Pretty sure we're done with the hat. Oh, I forgot to put on the explorer outfit. Oh, I already got that one. Making sure. Yeah, we already did that. I'm pretty sure I got all these. Yeah, they're all yellow. Part of me is like wondering if that robot does something, but mm, I don't know. I'm a marble madness. I'm gonna assume it's not in that segment. And that's, I didn't try this left side because yeah, it's, it's walled off. It's interesting that makes me land not on the thing. I almost get the feeling this is supposed to move. Yeah, it's all blocked off. I love to see in the cycle. Oh, I'm trying to groove. <laughs> I feel like I've done this level like a million times. I appreciate this segment almost going into the Sorcerer's Apprentice song. All right, I've actually never fallen, so I wasn't sure if it put me somewhere. So I was like, all right, let me make sure that isn't a thing. And then this is just, this is just the end of the level. I'm missing 
Six gems? I have no idea. I missed. Come back, plane. Oh, I missed. That's okay, because I've already been up there. And that pushes you off. Am I insane? I feel insane. It's the only six gems I need and... Then I can be free. I should go put on the last outfit. That's why I wanted a map and not a, a written walkthrough. All right, now we're quack shot. Let's give you the popcorn gun. It actually would be cool if the costumes had like powers. All right, what am I missing? How could there be six gems? Six diamonds. It's a perfectly timed so I can't stomp on him. That one's rude. <laughs> that soldier. I'm pretty sure I have them all. Do you mean in the hat? I'm just going straight to the hat right now. Unless, so I flipped it upside down and I walked backwards because you know, video games. I didn't jump in these holes. These aren't holes at all. Fuck. <laughs> okay, that was what I was missing. Game is surprisingly rude about shit like that. I went to jump, but it didn't jump. I think I was falling, but I was pretty sure it was on the platform. Like he was in this animation, but he wouldn't jump. You can understand that was not the most obvious hole. Or you like using like a video walkthrough? So I think that'd be the only way Unless it was described in the FAQ, I guess. Yeah, that probably helps a lot. <laughs> okay, I'm used to the original game, which doesn't have all these collectibles, so... I did it. There was no reason to. There was no reward. I got achievement, I guess. I guess we beat the game again. Sometimes games do that. Yeah, I suck on the licorice boss. He has some, like, 
I noticed that his tossing of the cookies, the macaroons. Um, this guy, the treat dragon is it's actually pretty tight timing, but I did find a way to cheese him. A greedy brute, the treat dragon is prepared to guard this land of cakes to the last macaroon. And he certainly isn't prepared to share his pretty blue rainbow gem. I guess I go beat the game again? Probably not. But I'll have to go do it anyway. Cap off this adventure. Uh, do I get a new costume? How do I... How do I cycle them? There it goes. We got that night. Mickey normal. I'll keep with this one. I like this one. All right, with that done, let's go fight the boss. Once I remember where that door is. Oh boy. It's a rainbow. I forgot I was still in 3D and I was just holding right and he almost fell off the rainbow. It was probably invisible walled. They probably don't want you to die in the overworld. There's no way that old witch is gonna hurt my mini. Oh, I guess I could take my time and see what the witch is saying in that one cutscene before I cut her off. Again, very Mickey Mania, very Battle Toads. A rotating tower ascent. I guess these are Australian devs on the remake. Like I said, the stage isn't in the re in the original. Australian devs are kind of Amiga adjacent. Whoa. I somehow didn't land on that platform. I did that twice before. I think it's a lot thinner than it appears. Like, I think I'm not rotating the screen enough. Yeah, she's she's having a good time with this. She's really feeling it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's so funny because I, I, I was walking and I still interrupted that, that dialogue. That's how short this walkway is. But they made so much dialogue for it. It's Toyland's toys. And apples and books. I know these things. The Donald head. The gears. All my past adventures. That's the best joke in the game. <laughs> I like that she's kind of a girl boss. Me? 
Was this the homing attack? No. talk over her and it's because I've already done this fight there's not really much to say I think it's the first time she hit me that isn't like the final phase <laughs> So this is good, it's like she combines like all the things. So, so she'll start doing this, but then she also starts doing the homie attack. Oops. Bonk. I kind of wish he had more combo. What happens if I don't grab this? Nothing. Look how smug he is. Bill was dazed. But for how long? Suddenly, Mickey had an idea. What if he launched the rainbow gem at the witch? It might be his one and only chance. Take that! Time seemed to freeze. Before the gem burst into a cascade of rainbow light, filling every inch of the tower. No! But I wanted to be the fairest of the all! It was the cruel witch's turn to be trapped and powerless, encased in the spreading light. The terrible spell was broken. Minnie was free at last. And Miserable wilted and shriveled back to her true form. Minnie threw her arms around Mickey, and as he hugged her, he vowed never to let her go again. Oh, the gym! Mickey, what's happening? The castle was crumbling, but Mickey couldn't see a way out. What was this? Miserable was helping them escape? Mickey didn't have time to consider if this was another trick. That, that zoom in is still my favorite part <laughs> of this ending. <laughs> Ms. Rebel had wisdom enough to know when she was defeated and why that was so. She had learned that there's a magic more powerful than any she had ever used. Mickey and Minnie knew it well, and even after what she had put them through, they shared its secrets with her. Now, Miserable's heart was filled with a different kind of magic. The magic of love. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Sorry, you're wrong. It was love, Where were we? not friendship. The end. All right, so last time it just booted me back to the hub world and was like, Mickey knows to not leave tasks un undone. Which is basically like, hey, 100% this, you idiot. <laughs> Do you think I'll get something for this? Like a picture? Oh, there's someone on the on the staff that has the last name of Glastonbury. Oh my god, there's someone named Michael Disquette. God, Michael Disquette sounds like the most awesome, like, like he's a, he's a, a retro PC YouTuber. Hey guys, this is Mike Disquette here. Maya Disquette. Oh, there's a family. There's a Disquette family. 
We have newborns, Charlotte Elizabeth Dowley, Elise Francis, and Kiara June Hoody. Thanks, Grant Kirkhope. Oh, I should have mentioned, you can actually play the entire game with the original Sega Genesis soundtrack. I'm wondering who is the person in the bottom right? I don't know a lot of top hat wearing characters in the Mickey verse. Like there's Jimmy Cricket, but he's not in the Mickey verse. Oh, that could be Scrooge. You're, you're right, it is Scrooge. It's darker on my monitor. When I look at the capture, I can see his monocle. That makes sense. I, I don't, I, for some reason, I don't think of Scrooge as a Mickey verse character. I gotta have to play that at some point, aren't I? At some point, we're gonna run out of Mickey Mouse games and I'm gonna have to turn to, but we already played all the good do do uh, Donald Duck games. Well, that's not true. We didn't play, uh, what are the 3D Donald Duck games called again? <laughs> yeah, Donald Duck going quackers. We haven't played those, which I guess I guess I'd have to play that three times because there's there's three different games that all play differently. I'm not doing that, by the way. I'll probably leave it up to vote. There's also PK. Um, yeah, PK Into the Shadows or something, which is based on like an Italian Donald Duck comic book. But we got the game in stateside for some reason. And of course, there's the, the classic um, Maui Mallard. You want to talk about Amiga Core Maui Mallard? You know, now that I have a computer, old computers, I might play the computer version of that. I'm told the computer version has the best soundtrack. It's like it has the graphics of the Super Nintendo version, but like the soundtrack of the Sega CD version. So I'm told that's like the way to go. I guess it's like an Earthworm Jim situation there. Yeah, well, let's see. We have Mickey Mania, which I will probably play the Sega CD version of. Um. We have all the Magical Quest games, the three Magical Quest games. We have those weird point and click Mickey Mouse GameCube games that Capcom made for some strange reason. That for some reason, I feel like they're like a precursor to Zack and Wiki. I need to stream Zack and Wiki. That's a game that I think would stream very well and I don't think a lot of people have, have seen it. I actually own that. That was a big Zack and Wiki stan and Trauma Center. Like my Wii was like, my Wii is the machine that plays those marble rolling games, the Kurorinpa games. It plays Zack and Wiki. It plays the Trauma Center games, the remake of the first game and then Trauma Team. And then um, what else did I do with my Wii? I'm like looking over. I have Rune Factory, but I definitely did not play it. I played like a bit of it. I was like infamous for not following through on like Harvest Moon playthroughs. <laughs> I've never streamed DuckTales on this channel, though a long time ago during Extra Life, there was a DuckTales race. So technically there is DuckTales on the archive channel, but that was a real long time ago. I actually don't even think it's on the Dream Harrier. I think it's on my personal channel. Oh, speaking of, I am rebranding the YouTube now that I'm back. I was going to do that when I made new, uh... I didn't get anything. I think the game, I think the, the, the tooltip was saying, like, um, you get collect diamonds to get concept art. So, I have all the concept art. Hooray me. Hooray. 
Uh, I've never played DuckTales 2. I've also never played Chip and Dale 2. Those are both twos that I'm like, do, do these exist? Uh, I've never played Tailspin. I get an honorary fast pass for every any ride I want. I gotta, I gotta show uh, my the Disney attendant uh, my hundred percent achievements in. Uh... I bet I don't have hundred percent achievements because there's there's time trials. I'm not doing them. You can't make me. I refuse. Well. I mean, there is a Mickey Mouse ride. I guess we should see if he has an idle animation and then we'll call this completed. You okay there, Mickey? You just gonna stare there, stand there looking slack jawed at the camera. Thank you so much for playing my game. Ha ha. <laughs> uh, it feels good to be back. Don't worry, nothing actually happened. It was because I clicked OBS that meant, went to the pause menu. Hey, I'm back. I don't know what I'm doing this week. Uh, next week should have a proper schedule. Some things to keep in mind is that the archive channel, which you can access from exclamation mark archive, that is going to... I still haven't fixed the bot so it doesn't show... Um, I'm sorry. I haven't fixed the chat so it doesn't show the bot messages. Um, that channel is going to be the main... Become the main Dream Harrier channel. And I'm going to get rid of the other Dream Harrier YouTube channel. But until that happens... Um, stay thirsty. No. <laughs> Uh, that'll happen sometime this week. I want to do it when I have all the new lo logos and everything. Yeah, I'm been working on new overlays, new logos, basically a whole refresh. Yeah, thank you. Thank you all for coming. Thank you for all for for being patient with me as uh, January wasn't the most productive month. Hey, we, we made a we made a produced like video with a script and everything. That's that's product pr production. I want to work on more of those. So yeah, go follow the Dream Harrier archive. Eventually we'll turn into just Dream Harrier and that will be the, that will be the space for VODs as well as the scripted videos. Yeah, I got to put that on my list. It's, it's on my itch.io uh, account. I got, they're like, they're, they're doing another Palestine, uh, the, the Gaza support for Gaza. And uh, they're doing another itch.io bundle for that. And the, nom the the games that are like submitted, there's some bangers in there. So I need to grab that when that comes out. I need to keep an eye out for that. Uh, let's see. I guess I could raid someone. I haven't done this in so long. I was trying to figure out why Twitch. Oh, Retro Pals are live. I guess we'll go Retro Pals. I haven't streamed late enough for that to happen. It's not eight yet. Whatever. You're going to be sent to the Retro Pals, whether you like it or not. Once I remember how to raid people with the slash raid. All right, you all have an amazing, amazing evening, amazing rest of the week. I will try to have one more stream this week, at least. It might be old computer stuff. I got some joysticks. One last hydrate for the road. I got two Microsoft Sidewinders in the mail, and then I discovered a whole bunch of old CDs. Did you know I own Alone in the Dark? I didn't know I owned Alone in the Dark. 
I must have completely deleted that from my child memory. <laughs> so yeah, Alone in the Dark's getting played for Spooktober on real hardware, because that runs perfectly fine on the, the Windows computers, the Windows 98 computers. Uh, anyway, yeah. I will see you guys later. Take it easy. Bye-bye.